everybody, it's Jennifer, and today we are going to make a new snack for the holidays. It's really popular around Christmas time. Um, so what I am making is puppy chow, and there's two different recipes to make. Um, you can use Crispix or you use Chex Mix. I have been using Chex Mix, and I have been making this for years. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm making a double batch because I am having a Christmas party tonight and it is nice to have a double batch because it'll last us for the next week or so in case everybody eats it all I still have extra. So what you guys need is you guys will need nine cups of the chocolate Chex Mix. You can use the regular Chex Mix if you want. I just use the chocolate because it is it does have the other flavors. Um, usually nine cups is just shy of a box, so usually I just use the whole box. And then it says you guys need one cup of chocolate chips. Um, I'm making a double batch, so I think maybe one thing is two cups, but I can always add a little chocolate. Like, you don't have to be exact with this recipe. Another thing you guys would need is a half a cup of peanut butter, a quarter a cup of butter, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, and then we got powdered sugar. You need about a, one and a half cups. Of powdered sugar. Um, I never measure powdered sugar because I end up adding more than what the recipe says. Um, it says you're supposed to put it in a bag and mix it. The last couple bags I've used, they end up melting and the powder gets everywhere. So I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna put it in a little container and then put the lid on and uh, shake it. So we'll see how that goes. But yes, let me start with the butter, the chocolate, and the peanut butter. And we'll go okay, from so there. What we're doing is remember I am making a double batch more than what the recipe says. But you guys do want to have this on low. Um, but what I'm right now is melting the butter first. Um, I think you can mix everything together actually, but I'm just kind of melting the butter. So it says to use a quarter cup of butter. I'm using a whole bar, a jutter, a uh, butter. And then it says you guys needed a half a cup of bean, peanut butter. I am doing a full cup of peanut butter and then it says you guys need one cup of chocolate chips and again I'm using two cups um, this stuff goes so fast during the holidays that I just rather just make one batch and be one and done instead of uh, making several batches and it doesn't go bad like right away you know as long as you keep it in a sealed container so we're just going to let this all melt. And yeah, and if you guys ever had this with Crispix and you like it better, you can use Crispix. There's a different recipe for Crispix. I've just been, you know, eating it with the peanut or with the Chex Mix. I found the recipe on cooks.com um, and yeah. But this is a nice recipe. And then we'll just add the chocolate chip. So added two cups of chocolate chips. So what you guys want to do is make this nice and smooth. You want to have everything all melted together. And once everything's melted together, then we're going to add uh, two quarter teaspoons, so a half teaspoon of vanilla. And so while this is melting, I'm going to show you guys what we do next. Okay, so after this is all melted... You guys want to take it off the heat. Everything's all mixed and melted. You're going to take it off the heat. And you can microwave this too, I think, but we're not going to because then it might overcook. So what we guys need is we need a half a cup of, or not a half a cup, a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're going to mix that in, and then after that we're going to pour it right onto the chocolate Chex Mix. I don't have enough Chex Mix because I have not made a double batch in forever, so I forgot I needed another box, but that's okay. You can always add some later on if you want, but it's not a big deal. This, uh, this recipe, you don't have to be precise. You can just do a guessing. You know, it's just basically melted peanut butter and chocolate on Chex Mix. So what we're going to do is then add this okay, to so the, the recipe recalls for nine cups of Chex Mix. Like I said, I think each box is um, about nine cups and I'm just gonna pour it in here. 
it's okay. It's hard doing this with one hand with the camera right here. That's four cups. Cups, and then I guess never mind. I needed another box. That's okay. I'm sorry. What we're gonna do is just add it to the Chex Mix. About half of this. And then what we're gonna do is put the cover on and shake it up a little bit. Do you want to get as much chocolate? On the Chex Mix as you guys can. This is not my day today. This might not work. It works better in a baggie, but I thought I would work it this way. Because that's actually working. And then I'm going to do it to the other one. I just, these containers fall down so easy. I hate you, Ikea. Okay, so let's try it with the other. We're going to pour it in this one. And what you guys could actually do is just fill it halfway and then fill more Chex Mix in it. Um, you want to make sure it gets all chocolatey. I only have one lid because I don't know what happened to the other lid. So we're just going to shake this up. And then just keep shaking and shaking and shaking. And then what you guys are going to do next is get the powdered sugar ready. Um, usually you want to put it on a um, wax paper and then put the powdered sugar on. What I kind of do is put some sugar on and then I'll add some more after I lay it out. So let's just keep on shaking it. Okay, so what we have is the wax paper. I ended up just putting it in a giant bowl and mixing it. I've never done this before and it seemed a whole lot easier than in the past because in the past I kept me melting the bag that you mix it in and then it just left a huge mess. So what we're going to do is take the powdered sugar and we're going to spread it out on the wax paper. Now they say you need like a cup and a half but I don't really measure it. I just pour it out. And then you want to make sure that's all spread apart because um, you're going to uh, uh, pour the chocolate right over it and then we're, I'm going to put more Chex Mix right over it. So you want to make sure all the Chex Mix is covered and then you're going to start pouring some on this and you want to make sure it kind of like spreads out all evenly. Um, I gotta mix this up some more. Way more chocolate than intended, but that's okay. Who doesn't like chocolate? I know some people don't, but this is good. So I'm just gonna mix it up, pour it all out. And you could add more Chex Mix, I ran out, but that's okay. That is a lot of puppy chow, but I have a lot of parties to go to in the next couple weeks so we're just gonna spread it all out because you want to make sure you leave enough room for it to cool off and then what I'm gonna do next is pour the powdered sugar all over the place actually you're supposed to mix it with powdered sugar I forgot You could put some in a bag and shake it. I think I might do some of that. Add a little bit. But yeah, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done with this. Okay, so what I ended up doing is just putting some powdered sugar in a bowl and then mixing it up a little by little. And then I kind of just pour some more sugar over it. And then you guys want to just kind of let this hard, let this all dry out, you know. And then it'll be good to go. So there's my puppy chow. Just want to thank you guys for watching. If you made this self 
this stuff yourself, just let me know if you guys enjoy it. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching and hope to catch you guys later for my next cooking video.